Right, so if you're going for a weight loss journey, you could do something called gamification and you can gamify it, which just adds an element to helping you stay on track. And uh, if you're in a bad mindset, it helps keep you on the right path and makes it more exciting too. So Slim and World do this, and I'm not, I'm not, not gonna knock Slim and World. They've obviously helped a lot of people do great things. I think Slim World's a great stepping stone from someone who's in a very poor level of fitness or health, but I do believe you've got to move on if you want to improve. But um, I also believe their gamification is good, but could also be improved. So I'll give you an example. With their gamification, they do sins, which most of you will know. If you don't know what it is, it's an allowance of things that you're allowed to eat which are naughty and not so healthy for you. And if you go above those certain amount of sins, then your the chance of you putting on weight is going to be far greater. So, but the reason why I think that is actually a bit of a flawed gamification with the sins they're known as tokens and it's a psychological thing when tokens you don't want to waste your tokens i'll give you an example if you used to go to a fair and you exchange your money for tokens uh, to be able to use in the fair but you cannot exchange those tokens back to money and you cannot use those tokens anywhere else the chance of you leaving that fair with tokens in your hands probably very slim you probably want to utilize all your tokens because they're useless outside of the fair with sins in Slim World, psychologically, you've got a level amount of sins that you want to utilize, and sometimes people save up for the weekend um, and, and utilize all of them. So it's the reason why it, it works if you're very in a very poor position, but when you start getting healthier, you've got to move on. And it, it, it's highlighting unhealthy things, and when you highlight unhealthy things, it put health unhealthy, or or anything, it puts that to the forefront of your mind, so it gives you the allowance that you want to utilize it. So I believe, you, if you gamify things, don't highlight unhealthy stuff, just highlight healthy stuff, and only focus on healthy stuff, and then the unhealthy stuff is not even in sight, so out of sight, out of mind. So I'll give you some examples. So you can create your own ones at home, but for us, you know, I've got these booklets, and in this booklet, one of the gamifications, the very simple one, it's just you measuring your progress, which most people do, so that's a very simple one. Another thing that I get people to do, uh, or encourage to do, is to do challenges. So, you know, get them through a challenge as much as possible over the course of the year. And um, when they start out, they do eight challenges. Um, then it accumulates to one every six weeks and always have one into place. And when you focus on challenges, fitness challenges, you have to do things to become fitter and healthier. If you eat healthier and you exercise, the chance you complete the challenge is going to be far greater. The, the next thing I get people to do, I have this thing called accountability tracker. And what it is, it just highlights, you get points for the activities you do. So one of them uh, for the mindset is educational, motivational. So if you read something, listen to something or watch something that's educational, motivational or inspirational within whatever you're doing, within this example, health and fitness and trying to lose weight, you, uh, they can tick off a point. So same with working out, they work out within a the day, they can tick it off and they get more points. If they get more than six hours of sleep within that night, they can tick it off and they can get more points. If they weekly meal prep within a week, they can tick it off and they get loads of points um, and etc. And there's lots of different activities that people go through and it accumulates and they can accumulate a certain amount of points for the end of the week. And if they hit 310 points of accumulation, they will 100% change. If they don't hit 310 points, they're not gonna change. So the good thing about this gamification one, they can look back at it and they may feel like they've done a lot. They, you know, they might have worked out three or four, to, or four times in a week, but they haven't hit 310 points and they can look and be like, oh, I didn't get six hours of sleep. I didn't uh, drink the amount of fluids that I need to, water, within a day, enough. Uh, I didn't eat the food that I was meant to within a week. So, and it will show you where you've gone wrong, why people might, why you might not change. But, um, and, and then another one, idea is uh, me and my cousin done this a few years ago we wanted to run 50 miles within two weeks so what we've done we've got a big piece of paper we put it on the wall where we uh, visit the room the most where we used to live house share together and we put a little stick men at one side and then we put a line right across it and you know, at the beginning was zero and at the end was 50 so there's one line at the top one line at the bottom there's a stick man at the top and a stick man at the bottom, represent him, represent myself. 
and then each time we'd come in from work, what was ever doing that day, we'd look at the board, I look at the board and I'll see he's moved the stick men over a little bit and it will show how much he's ran within that day, so like four miles. And I look at him like, oh God, I've got to go do four miles because obviously I've got to keep up with him. And so we kept doing that and pepper pod to each other and it helped us do 50 miles by the end of it because it's a visual representation of uh, an accountability for one another. Now, I do it for myself. You don't have to have someone there. You can have it on your own and what you want to achieve by the end of the month. And it could be a body fat percentage you want to get down to. It could be a dress size you want to get down to or it could be a fitness level you want to achieve. And each time you get closer, you can move your little stick men across or stick woman, stick man um, to help you. So gamification is a very powerful tool to help you stay on track um, and remain on track. And if you're off track, especially if you've got the visual representation, and there's also, especially with this one, it shows you why you're not tr off track, so you can't get frustrated. If you feel like you're doing enough, you can just look back at this like, well, oh, actually, I'm not doing enough. And it shows you right there where you're not doing enough and where you need to improve and on what days you're not doing enough. So it's very clever. So gamification, I think, is a very clever tool. So hope that helps. Have a great day. See you soon.